Yeah, you should see your recording button. This is Jeff Breedlove with the Georgia Council for Recovery. It is Friday afternoon, St. Patrick's Day, and I'm with Kim Jones, Executive Director of NAMI Georgia, and she is also uh, our lead of, of a co the, the lead member of the coalition of the Mental Health Policy Partnership. And Kim, it's been an active Friday here. We haven't had a chance to really go enjoy the green because we've been working on the green and purple of behavioral health with um, members of the Senate all morning long, members of the House all morning long. House Bill 5 to 520 is moving and it's <laughs> moving ahead. But Kim, give us a little update about what's going on with House Bill 520 on St. Patrick's Day. Well, we know that uh, Senator Ben Watson and Senator Kirk Patrick are gonna be working on the bill over the weekend, um, probably with some other members of the subcommittee and of the HHS subcommittee in the Senate. And we wanna thank them for their great work in working on House Bill 520. And um, we still do have some voices of stigma that are coming out, sharing some really um, ugly lies about the bill that have nothing to do with anything that's in the bill. Um, so we still have that going on, but we're very thankful to the Senate uh, subcommittee and um, HHS members that they're working hard for on the bill over the weekend. Absolutely. And speaking of those voices of stigma, it's important the Senate hear the truth. And so there's a very special day of advocacy on Monday, March 20th. Kim, tell us about this coming Monday. Yeah, we're asking all of our mental health and recovery advocates to come out with us on Monday. Um, that is uh, March 20th at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. There will be an HHS committee meeting at 2 p.m. And we just want you there to support mental health and let our senators know that mental health is important and that recovery is real and that we need House Bill 520 to help build the foundation to reform and innovate mental health. And so we're asking um, all of the people that we know who support mental health and can help us um, in this fight to have House Bill 520 passed to join us on Monday, 9 a.m. down at the Capitol uh, South Wing Stairs. And you know, if you can't be there right at nine, get there anytime between nine and two. Meet over at the South Steps, which are inside the Capitol on the second floor. And there'll be somebody there with our coalition looking for volunteers. You just show up. We've got a plan. We'll take care of you. We've got everything you would need. Whether you can stay for 10 minutes or the entire time, every little bit will help. I promise you. So that's Monday, March 20th. We're going to speak up, speak out, and be loud and proud for behavioral health, mental health, substance use disorder recovery. House Bill 520. You know, Kim, I think that your point was so well taken. You know, I know that it's taken a long time to get to where we want to be, but this is democracy in action. Mm -hmm. And there are members of the General Assembly who will be away from their families this weekend working on our policy. We're going to win, but we, we're only going to win if we speak up, speak out, and, and show up to the Capitol on Monday the 20th. By the way, all over the weekend, on NAMI's pages and on the Georgia Council for Recovery's pages on social media, will be post about 520 about coming to the Capitol with the link. So please share the post you see from either NAMI or the Georgia Council for Recovery over the weekend and bring five, bring 10, bring 15 people with you. And let's mm -hmm. let everybody know that Georgia supports a peer policy House Bill 520. And Kim, why do we support a peer policy House Bill 520? We support it, um, Jeff, because recovery is real. We have people dying each and every day, and we know that House Bill 520 will save lives and help people in recovery um, live with helpful, fruitful lives um, with mental health and addiction. Recovery is real. We'll see you at the state capitol on Monday. Happy St. Patrick's Day.